All right, you guys, I am here with my four week check-in of my reverse diet series. So I can't even believe that I was on stage four weeks ago today. That is just crazy to me. Time goes by so, so fast. Okay, so if you guys will remember last week, my check-in, well, actually let's go back. Um, my, my pre, my peak week weight that we're going off of was 122, 122 pounds. Last week, my average weight for the week was 128.6, okay? This week, my average weight was 130.1. So it did go up about a pound and a half, but my body fat, actually my husband does my pinches on my body fat, and it actually stayed exactly the same. Well, it actually went down a little bit. Went from 10.9 to 10.8. So um, I think that like all the food I'm giving my body and just like the really great workouts and the good energy I'm having in the gym is just going straight to my muscles. So not necessarily that I'm building muscle. I've been lifting for like 20 years. I'm not really gonna build a lot of muscle at this point, but it's just extra fullness and glycogen in my muscle tissue. So that was good news. I also have felt, I just felt really, really good lately. And I think it's due to three things, which I'm gonna talk to you guys about in a minute. But um, let's talk numbers first. So my macros last week were 35, no, no, my low day was 40 grams of fat, 135 carbs, 140 protein, and my high day was 35 grams of fat, so a little bit less, 215 carbs and 140 protein. And I was doing three low days to one high day. So, um, and then my cardio was 50 minutes three times a week and 30 minutes three times a week, okay? So with this week with my check-in, my coach actually didn't change any macros on my low day, but she bumped my fats up on my high day by five grams. So now my fats are 40 grams every day, my protein is 140 every day, and then my carbs are um, 135 on my low day, 215 on my high day. But she cut out a whole day of cardio, one of my long days, so I'm so, so happy. She cut out my 50 minute day, so now I have 50 minutes of cardio twice a week, 30 minutes three times a week. Woo woo, so happy. This morning, I was at the gym for only an hour and a half, and it was amazing. I felt like a real person I am not spending like two hours at the gym. It was so nice, I loved it. Um, okay, so why did these weeks go so amazing? Um, actually not weeks, this one week. I'm pulling up my notes, so I'm not prepared to tell you guys anything. So one thing I've been really focusing on, and these are tips that can help anyone, not just in a reverse diet, but I've been focusing a lot on positive self-talk, you guys. I wake up in the morning and I look at myself in the mirror, and I tell myself, this is cheesy, okay? Gotta make sure nobody's around. I don't want my kids around. Um, I tell myself, I love my body. I look strong, I look fit, I look healthy. I love my curves that I'm getting. A lot of my ab lines are gone and that's okay. I tell myself that I love how I look and I embrace how I look and how I feel. I love how I feel. And I choose to release thoughts of self-doubt or discouragement or anxiety. And instead I choose to feel confident, um, what else do I say? Confident, healthy, energetic, patient with my kids, all these things that I choose to feel about myself. I say this out loud all the time, like a couple times during the day. I've actually been saying it out loud to, um, to myself before my kids get home from school. I choose to be a patient mom. I choose to be engaged in what, in conversations with my kids, like all this positive self-talk. And you guys, it's helped me so much. I really feel like I've had such an amazing and happy week because because of that, okay? And also because, I think because of that, I've been able to have a much easier time with snacking. I haven't been hungry this week, which is awesome. It is the week after my period week, which for most people, you're generally a little bit more full that week, so that was good. Um, Cause last week I was starving. So this, this last week before this last one, this last week has been, I felt really, really good. Um, but again, I've been doing some positive self-talk with my snacking. If I feel like I want to like grab at some crackers or something, I'll walk up, this is, this is silly. Okay, you guys ready? I'll walk up to the pantry and I'll say out loud, I am choosing not to snack. I am choosing to feel confident. I am choosing to feel strong. And then I'll like shut the pantry door and walk away. I want to do that so many times so that that is my pattern as opposed to walking in and grabbing a graham cracker or grabbing whatever it is. I want to have the pattern and my default be I am choosing 
to be successful. I am choosing to stay on track. I am choosing to feel strong. I am choosing to feel empowered. Okay. Um, and then the last thing that has helped me, you guys, is I feel like I was so rigid and so consistent with my food for so long that after the show and also kind of between my last two shows, I really just wanted a lot more flexibility in my foods and variety. And so I had every single day I was eating different foods, which is fine. That's great. Um, and after my show, I did that every day. I was tracking my macros, but every day it was different foods. And I believe that when you are more consistent with your food choices, then your body responds better. Your body stays tighter. You don't have as many fluctuations in water weight that you're holding or cravings or blood sugar, things like that. Your body just becomes more in tune with the foods you're feeding it and, it, and when you're feeding it. Um, that's just something I found. I have no science or research to back that up. I just feel like I've heard that from listening to talking to different people and listening to podcasts. And you know, I found that with myself, with my clients and also with people I talk to. So I was able to do that this week. Um, I've kind of gotten a lot of that, a lot of that need for a variety out of my system and I'm finding the things that I love again and I'm happy with right now. And so, um, I've had a lot more consistency from day to day with my food choices and that has helped me a lot too. So I feel like that this week has helped me feel good, feel lean, feel confident, um, throughout this, through this week of my reverse. So if you guys have any questions, please ask them below. Um, I'm already a few days into this next week with my lower cardio and I'm loving it. So um, I'll check in again with my coach on Sunday. I usually hear back from her on like Monday or so and I'll try to get this video out to you guys ASAP. So if you like this series, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. See ya.